almost everybody's first post, uh, whether it's on a blog, on Twitter, on Facebook, whatever, is, okay, I'm trying this out. I have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah, that's, that's the traditional first post. Great. We welcome that. And we've, we've gone out of our way in this community to try to create avenues through which people can feel safe entering into this realm uh, and engaging with people. That's another key element to this whole Network Delaware thing is we're encouraging people as they come in, don't just promote your business, your nonprofit, your whatever. Uh, engage in what we call the, the Chris Bergen's 12-1 ratio. For every message you're sending about yourself and your own company and your own nonprofit, send 12 messages for others, which is as simple as, as you know, uh, for most people be forwarding a message on email. In this case, forward the message, uh, you know, retweet the message on Twitter, hit the share button on, on Facebook, uh, uh, put this stuff out on LinkedIn, let everybody else know what else is going on, and good things happen. The social media thrives on authentic, real communication. Okay, so yes, it is very easy for a company to get on, start a Twitter account, it's free, it's easy, and then just turn it into a regular feed, and so all they do is the one-way communication. You know, check out our latest press release, check out our latest product, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna be ignored, and, and, and there's, there's thousands of them out there. Uh, it's funny to, to talk to them and say, yes, we're on Twitter, and then you check, and it's like, okay, you're on, but you're not, you're not effective. You know, you're not engaged. The best comparison with social media is it's the giant cocktail party or the giant coffee mixer or whatever. It's the Chamber of Commerce dinner. You're, 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 you're gonna come in and see everybody. Now what happens more often than not for those people who say, I tried it and I don't see what the big deal is, um, chances are they got on, they maybe created an account and then didn't know what else to do. And the, and the magic happens when you start actually connecting, following people, having people follow you back, you start the conversations. So in essence, what you've done by not fully engaging, it's like you showed up at the front door of the Chamber of Commerce dinner. You maybe went in the foyer and checked your coat and got your ticket, but you never actually went into the ballroom where everything's happening and all the people are. So my advice is, is simply this, when you, when you come on, first of all, don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, we all understand this, is, this community uh, wants to share, wants to work with you, wants good things to happen. So you're not gonna have uh, uh, somebody say, oh, you, know, you must be new and we, won't, we don't wanna have anything to do with you. They're gonna say, welcome. You know, let us show you around, let us show you the ropes. For those that aren't using it, I just can't stress enough how important it is. I think it's really um, the direction that some of the, the communications field is heading. Um, if your people aren't using it, I just highly recommend they get into it because it's free. Um, it doesn't take up an incredible amount of time and it's just a really good outlet to reach new people. A lot of people are a little, oh, I don't have time for it. You know, you have to, you do have to keep up with it. You can't just tweet once or twice a week and you really need to work to develop those relationships with others. I make sure that I update the page at least three times a week because if you're not there, then they don't see you. You know what I mean? And it doesn't have to be like advertising each day because people really get tired of that if you're just always like sale, 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 you know what I mean? So like even if you just have some little funny thing that like you just got in something that's like pretty funny or even just say something funny about like uh, like the town or something funny that happened in the shop, you know what I mean? Just something that like, and especially if you personalize it, a lot of times people actually see you as more of like a person not as like a business and people want to shop more with people that they can relate to, not just like a cold business, you know what I mean, so. It's almost like they get to know you and then. Yeah, they, and then they actually think that like, well, like, like we become friends right. with a lot of people and then like people, you know, want to go to their friend shop. They don't want to go to like someone that's going to give them a hard time.